Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. You sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. I'm hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will leads us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. This could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. The controls are up here, according to the monitor. Here goes nothing. What was that? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It worked. <laughs> it actually worked. Okay. We activate the corridor next. I can't answer the no date. way that thing should be exposed like that. This is gonna work. It has to. You guys aren't actually planning to use this machine. Are you? So, I guess you're not at all concerned that one guy jerry-rigged this entire thing together? Because I think I literally see duct tape. Okay, no, this is a great idea. Yeah, no way that this is gonna backfire. There's a light blinking here. Might be what you're looking for. Don't worry. We'll get this working. Core? Wait, Monarch said what they stole from the university was some kind of core. It's... The core for a time machine. We're not the only ones who have one. Christ. What are they planning to do with it? Serene's plans are focused on the future, not the past. But to succeed, he needs absolute control. A time machine is control. Well, there's a line between control and playing God, and this crosses it by a long shot. This is insane. That's a lot to take in, isn't it? Well, I stopped trying to make sense of all this around the time that you started teleporting. Yeah, still trying to figure that one out myself. I think we're ready. Wait, we're actually gonna run this thing? Really? Are you sure that it's... This isn't exactly an easy bake oven. Maybe we should start by finding the instruction manual? You honestly think that's gonna help? Probably not, which is all the more reason to avoid this. I mean, have you ever seen the movie The Fly? I do not want to be the Jeff Goldblum of this story. <clears throat> the corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. Yeah, like hell you are. 
You saw what happened. Something's wrong with the machine. We don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't. know I'm right. Stop I'm trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's head of Cronin Research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no. The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There is. You were right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? It does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere, and we don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. If Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Dr. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who could win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. What are these doing here? We should be set up by now. It's all on schedule. You're micromanaging again. Don't even twitch. Mr. Joyce is waiting for us down below. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice imitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or, I could let Hatch deal with them, so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. Up into the past, I've tried to change things. And 
answer me this question, Bo. I once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I are well aware, Mr. George, with miscalculation can often come catastrophe. And that leaves me with you, Mr. Joyce. But my old friend would be a lost cause, dead and buried along with the rest of my past. Tonight is a celebration, a celebration in face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. The plan would go forward as intended. We didn't come this far to get derailed now. You talk to him, find out what he knows. Then get rid of him. You're all heart money bags. I know you want to make this all about you and me, Jack. But that's far away in the past now. And I have a speech to prepare for. seen where this leads. I've been to the end of time, and I've escaped it all the way to 1999, when it all started. I've tried to change things, but by trying, I only made them happen in the first place. breaking down. Monarch has been preparing for it. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Mark. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You gonna go? Me? Go to a party. We can roll together if you want. What do you want? I want a statement. Our group took things too far. Things got very violent. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. Find him. Step away! Right now! Wait, and this isn't what it looks like. No. No! He's gone! We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. 